Welcome back everyone! Time for some more Project Zomboid. So, we're gonna sleep. And then we will worry about the fact that there is a very, very large, well I guess not that large, a moderately sized horde across the night street banging on that house. Um, can you sleep for any more? No. Oh, so we have that. And we also should probably put all our junk away. Because we accumulated a decent amount of junk at the last place we were at. We're gonna put the gas can away. Jarly we don't need. Magazines can go here. Nails. Put the shotgun shells over here because um, that's where we're keeping such such paraphernalia. There you go. Let's put that uh, there. And over here. Shotgun shells. One of the things we are going to do, while I'm thinking about it, because otherwise I will not get it done, is to... Oh, I should put these over here too, actually. Let's get this hammer out. Nope, not the kitchen knife, the hammer. And we will create a... Because this one is almost dead, we're going to build a spiked baseball bat. Because the condition is almost toast anyways. And we'll get some repairing out of that. Almost all the way back to full, so that's good. Put that in here, put these in here, put these in here. Dump off a bunch of this junk. Twine, trowels, tomato seeds, tarp. Tarp. There you go. Alright. Um, I was gonna just cook a whole bunch of crap. We've got salmon, we've got pork chops, nope, not pop bottle, we got pork chops, anything else that can go in there? Nope. Alright, turn that bad boy on, I'll let it cook for a little bit. We'll have uh, plain old salmon for, for breakfast. Ah, sledgehammer, that's what I forgot to put away. I'll put you on the bookshelf. I have to unequip you first, huh? There we go. Now we now we're cooking. See that was a joke since we are actually cooking right now. It was very clever. I hope you appreciated it. So pork chops are gonna finish before salmon. That seems not like the real world. And there it goes. Off, turn off. We are going to eat... I'm going to eat the salmon first because I feel like the salmon is more likely to go bad on us quickly. It's probably way more food than we need right now, but why not? Got another skill point though, huh? I'll put that in maintenance. Alright, let's go. Let's see if we can deal with this uh, group that was hanging out across the street over here. We'll deal with these two first. Actually, we should probably deal with these group over here since they're right next to our home. Hopefully the spiked, I mean the spiked baseball bat should make this a little quicker. So we pulled four out of the five of them. Hi please, before the others get up. Thank you. That was very considerate of you. Really, that's the one I thought I was stomping on. Oh well. Now, um, I think I, I've talked. I know I've talked about this in the comments on some of the videos, but if I haven't talked about it in uh, actually in a video, I'm going to talk about it now. Nailing a baseball bat, like I just did with here. I wait. My general philosophy is to wait until the bat is almost completely toast or has actually broken before I nail it. Um, especially if I'm on a, a very, I have a limited number of baseball bats. The reason for that, oh, hello. Gunshots taking everybody away from me. Let's go to the back side of our house then and look to see if there's more zombies coming towards us. Um, the reason I do that, like these two here, is that the durability level of a nailed baseball bat is significantly lower than the durability level of a normal baseball bat. 
So you can get more bang for your buck, so to speak, by um, running the baseball bat almost all the way down before you nail it. If you just nail it right at the beginning, you'll get more damage, but the baseball bat, like the overall lifespan of the baseball bat, will, will be shorter. So that's my philosophy on nailed baseball bats. Gospel according to Crummy Archer, I guess. Alright, so that seems to be it. Alright. So let's go and deal with these annoying neighbors. A well fed boost is lasting a long time. Most of these zombies got caught by the house, so they didn't actually walk away like they should have. So we're gonna deal with it ourselves. Oh, that was a one shot kill. Don't get those very often. Alright. Thanks to whoever gave me the tip that swinging your weapon makes noise and can attract the zombies. It's a, it was a nice little tip. Oh, no, no, no. A bad swing there. One of them just went down. Stomper. Oh, crawler. Crawlers have seemed to have been fixed to a certain degree. They're the, um, the sudden lunge that they get when they first come up to life seems to have not, seems to not be as terrible as it was for a while. There was a brief period there. Hey, lady, can you, why don't you come here, please? Instead of going and getting in trouble. There was a period where the lunge that they had would, um, be like almost an instant hit when they lunged at it like that when they're on their first attack, but it seems to not be the case anymore. My healing bone, my, uh, well fed bonus finally went away. Alright, guys. Oh, got one of them. His death might attract attention. Or not. Whatever. What you guys up to back here? Want a lawn party? Just knocking him down. Setting him up and knocking him down. Hold on, please. Thank you. Come on. There you go. Come on. There you go. Alright, let's go around the front of the house and um, we'll go inside, see what's up. I know there's a few spare zombies, stray zombies. In here, like this lady. Who needs a good stomping? Open that back door. Anybody else in this house? You go in there. No? Really? I find that surprising. Nobody went into those rooms. Not complaining. I would never do such a thing. Just a little surprised. So we may actually be able to go into the... Into the church as well. I don't think there's much of anything useful in there, but just just to see. Just to not tick it off our list of places we've looted. How is our bat doing, by the way? See, it's already at half condition. I mean, I, I have been doing a decent amount of killing with it, but still. Nailed baseball bats, man. The condition just does not last. So we've got five zombies on the exterior. Somebody's busted down the front door, so we can go just go in that way, I guess. Come here, finger paints. Shh. 
shove. Just getting a little hot. Right. Let's go in the front door. Oh, maybe not. Uh, let's just peek in the front door here. Oh, no. You guys can stay put. I don't want to have anything to do with you. The church is not worth the trouble. So we'll just uh, mosey on home. I would like to do a little bit of tree chopping. I mean, it'll be it'll basically waste the rest of today because she'll get too tired to do much of anything else. Um, but I think I'd like to do some tree chopping. Now that we finished our, our our level one book of where did I put the axe? I still have it on me, do I? No. Hm. Axe, there it is. There we go. All right. Let's clear out the back room here. Back room, <laughs> backyard. That thing that's behind buildings. We still need a saw. We don't. We do not have a saw, which is a problem. Which means that we can't do much with these uh, logs that we make. Can't turn them into blank, into a uh, into planks, which are the u more useful <laughs> aspect. Just getting, just getting worn out already. That's what happens when you're an obese chef? I just want you to take out this little stand of trees. Is that too much to ask? Apparently it's too much to ask. Alright, she's gonna have to go take a little take a little rest after this one probably. There you go. Alright. She's gonna go take a little rest. Rest. Do do do. Give her an hour. Man, this just does not get over her uh, exertion very quickly, does she? Great. That's lovely. Hey, fitness is almost leveled up. That'll be good. Alright, she's down to moderate exertion. Let's see if we can get the last couple of these trees. No, I don't want to grab the logs. Cut this tree down. It's right back to high. <laughs> One swing of the of the axe and it's right back to high. That was me that made that noise? Okay. Alright, we got what looks like four trees. One, two, three, maybe four behind this. We'll see when this one comes down. Nope, just three. You can do three. I believe in you. Then we'll let you eat something. And we'll maybe read a book before we go to bed. There you go. Alright, in here. Let's see if we what we can potentially make out of our food here. Yeah, we'll make a we'll make a salad of some variety. We'll get some leeks, some stuff here. I'm gonna cook the steak. Anything else? Do we have any other I don't have any other raw food, okay. Alright, so first things first. Turn on the oven, get the steak in. Get that zucchini out of here and put it in our main inventory. Also, we need our kitchen knife. Kitchen knife, where are you? And we need some kind of bowl. Gotta have a bowl. Yeah, there we go. Alright, bowl. Let's start with the zucchini. We're gonna add uh, some leeks and some bell peppers. Excellent. And we're gonna eat half of it. 
Actually, screw it. We're gonna eat the whole thing. She's a big fatty. We'll let her eat all of it. Let's speed this up a little bit. We'll let this finish. Apparently, I didn't actually hit that button. I thought I did. And turn off. Take it out. All right. Put everything back in the refrigerator. Steak, leek, zucchini, zucchini, bell pepper, bell pepper. Anything else in here? Yogurt. Put that away. All right. These. Got a lot of stuff in here I don't need to be carrying around. Rope, screwdriver. Now hold on to the whiskey bottle in case I have an impromptu, uh, I need this extra thing here. An impromptu, um, Molotov I gotta make. Let's go to bed. She's pretty tired. Had a busy day. Should probably put the axe away before we forget about it. End up taking it with us and then we get tempted to use it as a weapon. Which we cannot afford at the moment. I want to go to that storage unit. Let's. Go, well, that's where we're gonna go this morning. We're gonna get. We're gonna eat. I don't know some steak. Some of our steak from yesterday. Eat half our steak, and then we're gonna go to that uh, storage unit. We gotta get our sledgehammer too, actually. Get my dog is grumbling at my feet. She wants dinner. She's going to wait a little while longer. Alright. Time to go to the storage unit. Oh, we got some, got some new neighbors to clear out first. Excuse me, folks. This is not where you live. I don't care what you think. Where'd your third one? There he is. I was gonna say, where's the third one? Sideburns. What is actually that called? Isn't there a name for people that have the the gray sides? You know, when their hair starts to go gray, but it only stays on the sides. There's a name for that. It's not sideburns though. It's something else. All right, we're gonna go try and start clearing out the zombies around this storage unit so that we can get in there potentially. Because it seems like a likely place to find an axe. I mean, the most likely place to find an axe would actually be um, the hardware store down in downtown West Point. But that's uh, that's uh, hilarious talk. Downtown West Point. All right, they're all dead. Doll. All right. Keep clicking on the wrong thing here. Mm, that's going to be problematic soon. We have a second bat, so it won't be too terrible, but it's definitely getting a little shoddy. All right, first task, we're going to go right in here. See if there's anything to see. That lady's doing the zombie shuffle over there. Which is helpful, because it means we don't really have to worry about her. in here? Nope. Fill up our water bottle. Comic book. Alright. There's no doors on this wall. Nope. Alright. Alright, lady. Break out of your zombie shuffle and come over here. I'll dance with you. Got that one. Next, please. You're up. Trying to save our bat a little bit. But that's not going to work. So let's give them both a nice double whack. No, no. Come on. Yeah, 
I just get lazy. I get I get impatient, and then I smash them. It's not the most efficient way, but I just get a little lazy, a little impatient. I need to use the bathroom. Open up. All right. So let's check this out. Anybody down there? Nope. Anybody down here? Surprisingly, no. There's a much lower zombie presence in here than I was expecting. How about in here? Nope. Alright. Electronic scrap. Guess I'll take it. Alright, let's get this place cleared out first. Make sure that the area is safe before we start spending too much time looting. Breaking down walls, baseball bat. Alright. Another gas can, full of gas. Alright, nobody down there. Really? This, is, this place is surprisingly empty. I expected there to be zombies everywhere. There's like a handful of them. Weird. I don't trust it. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. Yep, pretty much clear. Alright. Alright, I'm going to stop here for today. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, consider leaving me a like. It helps me out a great deal. And I will see you guys back here later for some more Project Zomboid. Thanks so much.